going on you the tube i am hot mess mess mua otherwise known as vanessa i don't feel so far away i feel far away um yeah today we're doing a miss mishmash mishmash of the things from my palette collection that i put into the declutter pile i'm going to show you what i'm going to declutter that will probably be on my mercari by I want to say Friday. So today is Monday. I'll probably have that on Friday. I'll pop it in my communities tab when that stuff is uploaded in case anybody is interested. And I will also put it on my Instagram. Like, hey, this is, am I, is my nose running? Anyway. So sometimes people like to repurchase things that have been sanitized, cleaned, and blah, blah, blah. I am a mess. I am one of those persons. I like to repurchase things sometimes for collector value, sometimes I don't want to pay full price. And that's what I'm going to do with that. So part of the video will be that. Part of the video will be showing you guys things that didn't make it from my last makeup basket. That'd be makeup basket two. Makeup basket number three will be included in this as well, but it will not be, what is that? What, what the hell? It will not be weekly. I'm going to try to make them smaller and figure out a better timing, but for those of you that are new to my channel, I am now working graveyard. It has been hellish. It's not just the hours, it's the baby's having like social anxiety issues. She's like crying in her sleep. It's just been a thing on top of um, it hasn't been worth it, not even remotely not even a little bit, to the point where we're like, maybe you need to stay home. All of my fears have kind of been realized with this transition, so I'm, I'm gonna try a couple options because I do want to work because I have five children and um, I want to make life better and easier on them by me working, but some things will have to change. So that is a process I am working on. I am quite messy with my face today. I put this face on at 11 p.m. last night. I actually did the tutorial. I followed um, Angelica Nyquist's Good Sport Look One, and I put some of the Fairy Lights glitter. That glitter transfers everywhere, but I love it. So let's start. Timestamps down below in the comments if you're interested. Let's start with the makeup basket from number two. Okay, I had popped this bad boy in, Sugar Pop. I put my brush in this for like a quick second and I was like, you know what, I don't even wanna mess with this. I don't wanna mess with it and see, see if it's still good. I'll probably end up popping it in, it's going in the declutter pile, but I'll probably pop it in the sale pile for anybody that might wanna collect these or whatever if it doesn't sell you know, donate or trash. This one was in the basket and I have been playing with it. It's going to continue to be played with because I just, I'm not quite ready yet. And I know on places like Mercari, they were selling fakes of these. So I don't know. We're going to see the Love Lux Beauty. These are, these are stunning. I mean, they're drenched ones are crazy. So uh, that is going to continue on in the, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Then I also popped this one in. It was the Urban Decay Naked Skin Little Palette. And what I had noticed is the creams tend to blend away a little too quickly for my liking, but I'm trying to find some of like these creamy colors because I do like this for under eye, but I think I found a dupe with Essence. So this might be going, I'm gonna try it you know, a couple more times this week. So I'm not quite ready to let it go. I did tell you guys I was gonna try this out. And again, I'm not ready to let this one go. I feel like if I use different brushes, I like it a little bit more, but I really don't understand how people are like, this is my perfect shade. I'm like, that was beyond me. What else did I have in that? I know there was more, but I put more stuff in my declutter. So we'll get to that. So let's just jump into, oh, I also said I wanted to try out this. I am not a uh, diehard for the bronzer. It's good for bronzing. Oh my God, come together with me. Live, love, laugh, vitality face disc. 
it's actually on my face right now. Why are you a pain in the ass to open? That's dumb. So you've got your bronzer, your blush, and your highlight. I flippin' love this highlight. I don't know what it is about it because I have another one of these with It Cosmetics highlights and they've never been the ish for me. But this one uh, is what I'm wearing right now, but it's, you know, 15 hours old. But it's so nice. It's bright, but still looks good on the skin, which is kind of a hard thing to find a balance with. I mean, of course, I would spray this down and pat it and everything. You can still see my glasses marks. I'm not trying to hide what's going on here at all. But this is a decent bronzer. I like it, but I still have to reach for other things to kind of hit here so it looks more brown than red. So this has a purpose in my collection and the blush is really pretty. Kind of reminds me of Coralista. So this I'm keeping. This is a for sure easy peasy. I don't really remember what else was in that basket and I'm not gonna go back in and rewatch that video. I'm so bad. But if there's anything that I can remember, I'll leave it in the comments. So we're gonna move on to this week's basket or this duration of basket, however long it takes me. I have added in those Tarte blushes that I said I was gonna see if I still liked them for my blush collection. So far, it's a yes. I know, I'm getting an early start. I wore this one on my cheeks for work and I topped a little bit of a more pinky shade, this on top. And as soon as I put my brush in, I was like, yeah, I do like these. So this is going to be on my face for the duration, duration of makeup basket number three. I'm popping in this nine pan palette because a lot of people were disappointed with this and I liked it. But now I have a lot of these kind of shades. So. I'm gonna do, um, you know, at least one look with this, see how I feel about it. This is going in the basket. This is going in the basket because uh, I decluttered the other one. I don't know if I need this monstrosity. I have a Jaclyn Hill one. And I tend to focus on a lot of the same colors when I was playing with this and the ones I did like were like these ones. But I need to try these other ones and see how I feel. See if this is gonna stick around, cause it's big, you know? And then I have two powders. The first one was the Becca Hydra Mist, and I really liked this. When it first came out, I liked the way it felt on my face. It was that kind of cool, wet feeling, but was a nice powder. It lost that mist, and it says use within six months uh, because it goes away. That cool, misty, watery feeling went away immediately. So if you're somebody that likes a lot of powder all the time, you might enjoy something like this, but because I'm not a crazy powder person, it lost some of its appeal. So I'm gonna try it a little bit more, see if I can you know, use the rest of it, because it's not like I'm gonna resell this to anybody, but I'm gonna see if I still like it, if it's worth even using, because at the time I liked it and I don't know how I feel now. And the other one, I was gonna declutter this one from day one. This one is the Blurring, the Becca Blurring Powder. And I was gonna get rid of it. I was gonna take it back at first because it's definitely not a setting powder. It is a blurring powder. So what you would use is almost like a finishing, if you will, like a finishing powder you use on your whole face, right? To This one you use for like harsh edges, but I feel like the coloring isn't quite right for me. This is in golden hour. So say I had, you know, this line right here for my bronzer, if I wanted to buff that out instead of just using my foundation, I could use this. I only kept it because I watched Mel Thompson and how she used it, and I'm like, well, I have it, so I should use it, but some things are just a little too extra for me. Like, if I could go in and use my foundation or a iridescent press powder, iridescent, translucent press powder, why reach for this? But I'm, these are gonna be in the basket, gonna use them, so it's two palettes, the blushes, I'm gonna do a little bit more with this contour, a little bit with this and see how they go. So this basket isn't as big, so then I can actually report back to you guys. Now we're gonna get on to the things that I'm decluttering and getting out. You're out, you're getting out. Okay, so on to the declutter. Some of these are old and they'll go in the trash, or if I have a friend that might want them, um, or they will be on my Mercari. I have not 
like solidified Poshmark. Should I fix my nose or do you guys care? I mean, are you really on this channel to find out how to do your makeup? Probably not. So I have the two little shimmer ones from Lorac. This one is like a sultry one. I have a girlfriend that at work that I could just pass this off to. I can see Meg's wearing this one. And this one's the matte version. I love these kind of tones. These aren't getting any use from me though. I have enough and, and I like little palettes, but eventually you have to go, I'm gonna let you go. You're gonna be let go. So this is the by Terry and it was gifted to me from Miss Penny Smith Skincare. These are good quality. Some of them are practically gone because she loved them so well, but this one's definitely gonna go. I don't need it, but I do know a girl at work that could probably get use out of this. This one is the Stardust Palette from Too Faced Cosmetics. I think I used it twice. It was because it was on sale and I was like, it's limited edition and it still has the plastic. So this will end up getting cleaned up and on my Mercari. This is the Hidden Treasures Palette by Dose of Colors. Another one that has, look at, you can see I haven't even touched some of these shades at all. Not even, not even a little. And they're beautiful. It's nice, but I bought it on sale and I just don't need this. I don't need this. I like my other dose. I don't need it. So these are some wet and wild things. I've got the Mega Glow Hello Halo Liquid Highlighter. It's um, a bit golden. I don't need another liquid highlighter and this one is still sealed. Um, I think I actually have a duplicate of this. So that's going in the pile. And then I have these little quads that were from the Fire and Ice. One of them is two, two have been opened. One has been used. The other two are still sealed. So I'll probably do like a little wet and wild combo, but I don't, I don't need these. I don't need these. They can go into the world. When wet and wild starts coming out with ones like this with three mattes and one shimmer, I might, I might bite, but for the now I don't need them. This one is going, it is going. I didn't love it. Uh, I have a major problem with the black being right underneath here. The bronzer isn't a great shade for me. It's just, I don't need it. It's gonna go. Too Faced, I'm getting rid of a la mode eyes and sugar pop, both of them. You know, someone might be a nine pan palette collector and wants to get their hands on these. If not, I will try to pop them into, you know, a friend's hands. But I don't know a lot of people that love makeup the way that I do, or if I can't get rid of them, my daughters will have a heyday. This one is the Urban Decay little shadow box. It's got some like major shades that have always been known. Polyester Bride, Mildew, Smog, Maui Wowie, Sin. It even has the brush on the inside. Um, that one's gonna go. I love this palette so much. Pulp Fiction, it hit pan on that righteous color. Love that color. The browns are, I loved this. This was my first neutral palette that I absolutely loved, but um, I don't need it anymore. So it's gonna go. The Jouer Little Essential Jet Set, I used this for a video. It still has the little brush inside. They are, it's a great little neutral palette, but I don't gravitate toward these particular neutrals. And I have all of my five pan palettes from Dose of Colors when I'm really feeling I just want neutral brown, grab it. Or I can grab the brown and the red and be done with it and all my little Sydney Grace ones. So I don't need this one. Maybe it'll find a good home. This is the Viseart Petite Pro One. I like this. I like the quality, but I don't need it. I don't. It's, it's nice. It's pretty. I think I used it twice it can go on out into the world. And that will force me to use more of the bigger pan palettes when I wanna use Viseart, instead of like, which one do I use? I don't need this. This one is the Feline Fancy from Sugar Pill. I know they sell these singular, but I'm not reaching for these. It's gonna go into the world. Maybe somebody else that collects will want it. This one was hard for me because I, it has the beautiful packaging and the little mirror inside. This is the Urban Decay Spectrum Palette. It has these beautiful jewel tones. The colors are still nice. I don't need it though. I don't need it. It can go out into the world and somebody else can give it some love. I am also getting rid of the Alme Blush in um, hmm, Coral. Don't need that. The Sweet Peach Glow. 
don't get any use out of that. That's going. The Viseart Trist palette. I did use this in the first makeup basket. It's even got the little plastic cover on it. It's a beautiful color scheme. I live for the pinky corals, but there wasn't enough mattes in here. So uh, this one is going to go on the Mercari. It's going out. It's going. The Suva Beauty Neutral Necessities. Goodbye. Beautiful, but it does have primer in it. I don't even think that this would be worth reselling because I believe that it's not going to have the potency that it once did because there's a built-in primer with these. I'm sure they have shelf lives now, but it didn't when I bought them. That was the other thing that I had on my list uh, trying out from the first, second makeup basket was the Cupcakes and Monsters, and I have not completed that thought process in my head yet. I'm getting rid of the Galaxy Chick. Is it Galaxy Chic? No, it's Chic, huh? Aren't these beautiful? And they're not even getting used. But I am actually not a fan of a full shimmer palette, even though I have so many from Urban Decay. But these are so pretty. So pretty. These beautiful baked shadows. And I don't ever use them. Don't touch them. Nothing. They just sit here. And it's a shame because they're really nice. Maybe somebody else will love them. My very first real colorful palette, besides the Urban Decay Electric, Take Me to Brazil. This little thing brought me so much joy. I got through Halloween and all kinds of fun things with this palette, but I have so many colorful palettes. I'm feeling like I can reach for my Certify or my Sugar Pill, so this one's gonna go. And last is the Morphe Original 350. I don't need you, I don't want you, look at some of them haven't even seen any love at all. Any love. This is probably from the very first launch. So that one is going to go. And then from the original eyeshadow palette collection, I had a Kylie palette and I'm going to be gifting that one to uh, my best friend's niece. So I gotta send that off to Washington. But that is my declutter so far. I know I'll be getting through more, testing out more stuff with the makeup basket. Tell me what you guys think about this kind of layout, um, me posting that I'm gonna be getting rid of stuff because people do contact you on this realm and they're like, oh, let me know when you're gonna be getting rid of that makeup. Uh, shipping costs a lot of money and I am by no means rich. I'm a mom of five. So, if I put the stuff on the site, someone wants to buy it, so be it, that's great. If not, you know, passing it along um, to whoever I know is great too. So anyway, that is it. That is a declutter, makeup basket two review, makeup basket three, what we're gonna be working on. And this is life right now, guys. It is, it is wicked hard. I cry all the time. I cry a lot uh, because I'm not happy, but I'm really trying to find the joy in all of this because sometimes that's where you get your answers. And when things are really, really damn tough, you get your answers. So that's what I'm hoping that this particular stage in my life is. And thank you for coming along this journey with me. YouTube has brought me so much joy. It makes me something besides just a mom and I don't want to say that that's a bad thing but I'm someone beyond being a mom and I'm someone beyond what my job is and you guys really make me feel that way and I love you for that so thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video Mwah. bye don't forget you can subscribe down here and for more videos click over here possibly there there's places to click click them click them all wash your face make teriyaki chicken in a crock pot